Aldev Chaga claimed his first East Africa Safari Classic with winning the 10th edition in Watamu Kilifi County. Defending champion Chris finished a 7th in an event dominated by Kenyans. Robinson Okenye reports. It was a day to determine the king of the classic as the East African Classic Safari came to a conclusion in Watamu Kilifi County. Kenya's Baldev Chaga was on cruise control, dusting his opponents in a hot mid-morning to win this year's title in a cumulative time of 16 hours, 40 minutes, 10.6 seconds. This was the Flying Sings' first ever classic title. <laughs> this is like winning eight Kenya nationals back to back <laughs> in nine days. So the, the, the feeling of this is exceptional. And especially because it's, it's not just the normal people that we are competing with, it's all the international people, there's big teams that come from Europe. Swedish driver Patrick Sodel was up to the task, finishing second despite being 12 minutes behind yesterday. Sodel cut that deficit to 7 minutes as he settled for the runners-up position on his first time of asking. We're happy with second uh, and uh, uh, yeah, we definitely are coming back. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This will stay on our bucket list for a couple of more years now, I would say. Veteran Kenyan driver Ian Duncan, who has won the classic title twice, finished third as another Kenyan, Lee Rose, took the fourth position. Yeah, pretty nice. Um, nice to get a good result. We've been trying for a few years and just having issues. So, so, so nice to finish, nice to be on the podium. Yeah, ve very happy. Defending champion Chris Rosenberger finished seventh as another Kenyan Pierce Dake into the fifth position. After 10 days of intense rallying on the roads in the country, Baldev Chaga finally laid his hands on the king of classic trophy, winning this year's championship, and he will retain that until the next event. Robinson Okenye, KTN Sports, in Watamu, Kilifika. Congratulations, Baldev Chaga. Now, Makri Kimathi completed first day of ice driving at the John Hall 